All right. Um, for this problem, I'm sorry. I gotta. I gotta make sure we can cover everything. Just keep on working on it. You're on the right track. So, ladies and gentlemen, for this problem, it's very similar to what we just did. However, now we're multiplying, and when we're multiplying fractions, we multiply directly across, right? Um, so the one thing I want you guys to know about this one is when we're multiplying directly across, please understand that 2 times 3 times 4 is the same thing as 4 times 2 times 3. Do you guys agree? Order doesn't really matter. So when I'm multiplying these across, what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply them, but I'm going to put them next to each other where I can apply my rules of exponents. Because I can't apply the rules of exponents with different bases. I can only apply the rules of exponents when they have the same base. Now, I'm not going to multiply actually anything. I'm just going to kind of reorder this. So I'm going to have 21x to the 10th times x cubed times y to the 5th all over 5 times 35 times x squared times y to the fourth. So does everybody see what I did? I just reordered everything, just so everything now is next to each other that I can <coughs> simplify, right? Because everything was all kind of over the place. So now, let's look at the numbers. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you can multiply 5 times 35 and then divide 21 over um, whatever that answer is, 140, 175, right? But that doesn't sound like fun at all. What I would like to do is, do is simplify that before I multiply it. So I see, well, 21 over 5, I can't simplify that. But 21 over 35, can I simplify that fraction? Is there a number that divides into both of those? 7. So I can simplify that to 3 over 5. Does everybody agree? 7 divides into 21, 3 times. 7 divides into 5, 5 times. So I simplified it. OK? Now I can apply the rules of exponents. So now, I mul now I've simplified the numbers. Now let's apply the rules of exponents to simplify x to the fifth and x cubed. So what I get when I do that is I get 3x to the 10 plus 3y to the fifth. All over 5 times 5 is 25. And I can't really do anything with these two y to the fourth. So x to the 10 plus uh, 3 is going to be x to the 13th power. So I'll rewrite that as x to the 13th. Wait, 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 wait. I simplified the 5 first because you told me I could like right across. So I simplified the 5 and the 35, right? Like other, I to get to 175? <laughs> yeah, and I, well, I got 7. And then I simplified the 21 and 7. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right, I asked you if you could like simplify like the 5 and the 35. And yeah, which simplified would be multiplying them. You can't do anything else. You can only simplify 21 over 35, which is 3 fifths. So I asked you if I could like, simplify like, right across, and you said yes. Yeah, but. Basically, you can't. You have to simplify numbers. That's not, no. Yeah, well, you can, how are you going to simplify 35? What do you mean? Well, I basically simplified the 5 and 35. So how do you simplify? What do you mean? You said you simplified it. What did you simplify it, it as? It would be like 1 and 7. You know, the 5 in the 5 goes 1 time. Yeah, but how, how are you dividing out this to make 5? But you said this turned into what, 7? Yeah. So you're dividing this by 5. Mm -hmm. Then what did you divide and up then there? I simplified the 7 and the 21. So the 21 became 3 and the 7 became 1. No, but see, the thing is, what I did is, basically, when I'm simplifying a fraction, 25 over 35, mm -hmm. what you do is you divide by the same number. Mm -hmm. Well, the only number that these share is 7. So 21 divided by 7 is 3. 35 divided by 7 is 5. That's why I got 3 fifths right there. So that's when I, you said, can you simplify? Yes, that's what I was expecting you to do was to divide 7 uh, for the 21 and 35 so you get 3 and 5. OK? okay? Um, but now we have this. And if you guys remember on this, now we have the quotient rule. Now we simplify these by subtracting the powers. So I have. Um, 3 over 25 times x to the 13th minus 2, y to the 5 minus 4. Well, that's going to be 11, and that's going to be 1. So my final answer is 3, x to the 11th, y to the 1st, all over 25. And that is your final answer, or fine. Yes? Why? 
I simplified 21 over 35 to give me 3 fifths. Right. Then I multiplied 5 times 5, which gave me that 25. Where did the two fives come from? Because I know there's a 5. 5 was already there. Five. This 5 was there. Yeah. And then I simplified this one to produce that to be a 5. So you can multiply two fives even though one belongs to the x and one belongs to the They don't belong to x or y's. They're numbers. Mm -hmm. So they're not going to belong to x or y's. Mm -hmm. I, I see what you're saying. So you're saying so this one was connected? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yes. They, yes, you can multiply. You'll be able to multiply them. I see what you're saying, being connected.